Hello, welcome to Creative Lab channel. Today I will be doing answerly review and demo. This is AI chatbot, and with answerly you can easily train your own chatbot with relevant data about your business and embed it directly into your website. And answerly chatbot will immediately start assisting your customers by answering any questions and provide instant 24 by 7 customer support. And you will see the features of Answerly during this demo. Quickly about the features, we can see that you can organize 24 by 7 AI assistant support. You can train your chatbot on your data. You can help your clients or visitors contact you through a contact form if chatbot didn't respond to a particular question. You can watch conversation history and there are more features. Also, at the moment, Answerly is available on AppSumo as a lifetime deal. It just appeared there, so there are just few reviews, but there will be more. There is one great review. Another one states that there are some issues with website data crawling but there was an answer from the creators that they addressed the problem. Regarding AppSumo plans, we have different tiers. With the first one, you have one month's conversation history, one chatbot, one knowledge base hub, one team member, and one connected domain. Also, you're limited on crawled web pages per import and items in your knowledge hub. With License Tier 2, you have increased limits and added additional feature, so you can train your chatbot on additional data sources and import Google Docs or PDFs. And starting with License Tier 3, you have additional feature, Knowledge Hub Discover. It means that automatically based on the data and the conversation history, Answerly will help you to fill the gaps in your documentation and will suggest you the questions which are currently unanswered. So you can add documentation and fill those gaps. Also, if you would consider License Tier 5, you're getting unlimited chatbots. Before we jump in to the demo of the tool, I would like to mention that the creators of Answerly have two other products that they featured on AppSumo. Those are Popup Hero and Facepop. Popup Hero is not available already, but it got good amount of positive reviews. And Facepop is still available and it also has a lot of positive reviews. So I would say that the creator of Answerly had some credibility on AppSumo platform already. Okay, let's start review and demo of Answerly. Here is their main dashboard. We have several sections, chatbot section, conversations, where we can track conversation history, knowledge hub, where we can train our chatbot, and few other sections. So these are three main ones. So before we go and play with chatbot, we need to train it and load some data to it. And in order to do that, we need to go to Knowledge Hub. In the Knowledge Hub section, you will be asked to provide your own open API key. You can generate your own API key by this URL and you will need to edit here. Okay, let's move to the ways you can import the content. The first one is the website. You provide an URL and the tool will crawl the pages and will import content from those. The second one is knowledge base. It is similar to a website, though, for example, here is helpanswerly.io. It is a knowledge base. It is more well-structured data but basically it is a website as well. Next one, you can 
give a set of URLs manually, you can import Google Docs or PDF. And import from Google Docs and PDFs are included starting from the AppSumo license tier 2. We can import knowledge base from Answerly, hit import. We can see URLs in the queue. In the license tier 1, there will be limit or 20 URLs per import. It will take maybe a minute or two to import 20 URLs. And here it is. We can see the adding and the short summary about imported pages. We can scroll and select or deselect to indicate what should be imported. We also can see that the tool detected few visions or visuals to import. We can see that it detected a logo on the page and the author. Let's import. After the import is finished, you can see your summaries here at the summary section. We can edit our summaries. We can edit titles or summary content, or we can add additional tags. Let's save it. We can activate or deactivate. So the chat both will or will not use it. We edit new tag and let's save it. Now we can see a new section or tag was adding called greeting and summary is disabled. Let's enable it. So now after we did import of our knowledge base, we can go to a chatbot, go to a knowledge hub source, pick our knowledge base and ask some questions. For example, what is the purpose of answerly contact? And we get a short summary about this answerly feature. Before moving to the next case, let's select all the summaries and delete all of those, as well as visuals. Let's go to import. And now let's import some data from my website name Ketchup, where you can check domain name and username availability at the same time. The site has some guides and reviews as well. Let's try and see how the tool will work with import from a WordPress site. Let's go. Okay, so without issues, it identified the links to the articles. Now it is in progress of importing those. I think for my current plan, I have a limit of importing 20 URLs at a time. I see first URLs, it identified correctly. Then I see some duplicates. For example, let's open one, two, three. And I see base URL, then adding to a section and the second section. So not a problem. You can later define what will be actually imported after initial crawling is done. Okay, we are in the process of import. Currently we have imported 15 URLs. It took maybe about five minutes to do so. Let's proceed with what we have. Yes, let's have those 15. And here we can see a summary about imports. It provided the title and short summary about the articles. For example, guides on choosing a domain name. Okay, let's import all those. Let's check all those summaries. We can see that those were organized by several categories. One downside that I see here is that it is not so easy to distinguish what article is related to which summary. Okay, here I can see web.com. It is a summary about review. I can distinguish that this summary is about blue post review. However, for example, here guide to domain names or Again, guide to domain names. Those are a bit different articles. Let's go and edit 
this one. We can see a short summary about the topic, though it didn't directly import the topic, but rather it provided some summary. Okay, now we have our summaries. You also can have emergencies. An instruction for a chatbot will have a priority, so it will be able to tell your users more urgent information first. So to complement our content, we can also create summaries manually. Let's add this one, summary about what is named Ketchup. It's a website where you can check the main name and username availability on social media sites at the same time. Let's create. We can create emergency. You can inform your clients that you are on maintenance, for example. Let's create an emergency. We can have a vision. Let it be name catch logo. Let's create a vision. And we can have link reference. Let it be terms. Let's have it like this. So now we have our summaries, 15 imported and one added manually. We have an emergency message. We have our vision and we have a link reference. So let's go to the fun part and actually ask chatbot some questions about imported content. For that, we need to go to chatbot, make sure that we selected appropriate knowledge app, and let's ask some questions. For example, on the landing page, there are some information about what to do if you would like to register a domain, but your name is taken. Let's ask this question, but rephrase it a bit. What to do if the main name is taken? All right, it took maybe about 15 seconds to generate the response. And we can see that it actually provides the accurate information. You can consider different steps, like trying different top level extension. Instead of com, you can use org.net. You can add words, contact the main owner, consider misspelling, or evaluate your branding. And actually, that is in line with the content from the main page. We can ask what is name catch-up logo is. And we can expect an image response here because we added a visual for that but for some reason it didn't work. Let's try like this. Unfortunately, it didn't work. However, it is in the knowledge base. We can see a vision and it, it is called exactly name chat logo. Let's ask more specific question. To answer that, I added a custom summary and Regarding this one, it is a great response because I think it was complemented by different articles. In the name ketchup summary, I had just a brief description and Answerly gave more detailed answer and AI didn't hallucinate here because everything here is relevant. Name ketchup is an online platform that provides services related to domain names and usernames. That's correct. Actually, a nice response. Let's ask the tool. What are top seven website builders? And I will expect the top seven specifically from this article. Regarding the content, every website builder is here. Bix, Crossprace, Fibli, Odetti, WordPress, Shopify, Jimdo. Though the order is not exactly the same, but it's not a problem. Let's ask this question. Where can I find terms and conditions of name ketchup? And here I would expect a link in response because I've added that link into a knowledge base. And here it is. You can find terms and conditions by this link. Okay, moving next to other feature, conversations. 
Here we need to select a particular chatbot. You can have several and then you can track all the conversations your visitors had with the chatbot. You can see how it looks like here. If we will go back to chatbot, we can see there are additional settings like AI identity, you can set up name of your business, you can give different name to your AI assistant, you can choose personality, let it be polite, you can have some custom prompt, though it would be great if they would give example what kind of prompt they are using, so you can use your additional or different or enhanced one. There is greeting editor, you can edit how AI assistant greets your visitors, you can add contact support form, so anytime your visitors will write something similar to I want to contact support, then a contact form will appear in the chat and you can customize to what email address the message should be forwarded to. As well, you can customize look and feel of the chatbot, you can change fonts as well. Other features that they have are webhooks. It means that, for example, you can connect integration tool or custom developed software regarding integration tools. It could be Public Connect or Zapier or any other similar tool. And you can receive notification about events, like when chatbot is opened, you can receive an SMS message, for example. So it's a great feature to have. Regarding how to get access to your chats, you can play with chat right on the answerly website here in the chat menu you select your chatbot and a knowledge hub source and you can ask questions right here you also can get a link to a chat so it will be opened separately like this also you can connect your website you will need to put the name of your website here and you will be given a code which you need to paste into header or footer of your website. And then a chatbot widget should appear on your website. Also, you can use so-called iframe. This code you can post anywhere on your site and chat widget will appear there. Moving to the conclusion. In general, I liked using Answerly tool, Answerly chatbot creator. The look and feel and design is great. It has all needed features. You can import data from a website, from a knowledge base, from Google Docs or PDFs. Website crawling speed could be a bit faster, I think. And when your documents are imported, it's a bit hard to follow what is exactly a particular summary is referring to. But the chat was answering correctly the questions that I was asking about the content. For some reason, when I added visual, it was not able to answer me. But in the demo from the creators, I saw the feature working. After training your chatbot, you can give a link to that chatbot or you can embed that into your website. So if you would like to try this tool, please check the link in the description or scan QR code that you see right now on the screen. Please also give this video a like and subscribe for more similar videos. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.